Right. Mel Tucker in this Michigan State team has not taken that far of a step back from what we saw at Mark, Mark D'Antonio. Yes, everybody wants to throw around the cupboard is bare. Whoa, what is this? Rich Rod for Lloyd Carr? <laughs> right, exactly. The cupboard is not Barry bare. Barry Cupboard, we call them. <laughs> it, it, it's not bare. They still have Jacob Panashuk up front, who needs to play better. He's one of the better pass rushers, should be one of the ret- better returning pass rushers. We didn't see enough from him on Saturday. Didn't actually see almost anything from him on Saturday. He's going to play better. This offensive line is going to play better. They're going to give Rocky Lombardi a little bit more comfort in that pocket. But Rocky Lombardi was 31 of 43. That's a good performance. Right. He had a few errant throws. One of the uh, the pick six, I believe, was basically just a miscommunication between him and Naylor. But it, it, look, he, he was fine. That, that wasn't their problem. Their problem was the turnovers, like you said, seven of them. And that's why when I see that it's 25-point spread, look. It's ridiculous. They, they forced three turnovers by the other team. That's good. It is. It is. And, I, and if they come out and they play disciplined, they're going to play by default better. If they don't right. turn the ball over seven times, if they cut that in half, they may actually still win this game against Rutgers if they only have right. three and a half turnovers. Right, like Michigan should win, but you're right. I mean, there were some – well, that you're in, in the trenches, but I liked Reed. Uh-huh. I liked uh, Jordan Simmons, the freshman running back. Uh, there are a few other players I, I thought were pretty good. There are J- Jaden Reed – I think is a one a great transfer pickup was you know all freshman all American at Western Michigan. Uh, he comes in and has eleven catches, hundred twenty eight yards. Yeah, he put the ball on the ground twice. Jalen Naylor uh, was it the the he had a muffed punt. Mm-hmm. Um, those three right there. If you don't have those three turnovers, I, I I really think that Michigan State wins this game probably. And so it's and, and on top of that, the other thing though, and, and I think the last thing I'm going to talk about is. Michigan State's offensive line, please, there is more experience up front because of the injuries that they have had over the last couple of years than almost any offensive line in the country. Now, it doesn't make them good just because they have had the opportunity to be on the field, right? but they looked unorganized. They were not going, and I talked about this, on watch Allen, their center. He needs to get everybody going the right directions. At times, it looked like they just were not listening to him. They got beat on some simple blitzes. All of what happened, Elijah Collins wasn't the running back we thought he was going to be in week one. Right. That's why I think Simmons was better. He was. But if if you, as an offensive line coach, you don't have to simplify anything. You just sit those guys down and say, you map out, okay, we – allow the penetration on this block. If we don't allow penetration on this, Elijah Collins will cut the ball back and he's going to hit his head on the goalpost. Those plays are all there. So do not, uh, yes, be upset that you lost to Rutgers. Be upset that you turned the ball over seven times. And be upset that you ran the ball four straight plays, including third and one and fourth and one. Jay Johnson has to be better than that. I know Mel Tucker likes physical football and that's part of it, but you can't do that. And the biggest, like I've said for Michigan, the biggest improvement is from week one to week two. Yes. I think that Michigan State is going to take a monumental leap from week one to week two because they're going to be more disciplined. They're not going to turn the ball over. And they're going to be more productive in the run game, which will open up the opportunity for Reed, Naylor, for Rocky Lombardi to be productive in the passing.